Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Ursha. I live in Norway since early 2021 and today I'm gonna take you on a trip through Norway's healthcare system. Nordic region countries are frequently listed as an example of successful national healthcare systems. The Norwegian healthcare system was ranked number 11 in total performance by the WHO in year 2000, evaluating the healthcare system in all of the 100 and 91 United Nations members. Therefore, and also because one should know the healthcare system of the country you live in, I decided to research and explain a bit the Norwegian one. So let's start with the basics. In Norway, every member of the Norwegian National Insurance Scheme has the right to access the medical services. This means every resident taxpayer gets universal coverage, regardless of the socioeconomic status or area of residence. With one exception, undocumented immigrants would get limited coverage, meaning the emergency acute care. If you are a European Union resident through common agreements, you would have the same right and access to medical services as you would have in your home country. Let's talk about structure. All public hospitals are run by four regional healthcare authorities. These four are Helse Nur or Northern Norway Regional Health Authority, Helse Midnurige or Central Norway Regional Health Authority, Helse West or Western Norway uh, Regional Health Authority, and Helse Sørøst or uh, Southern and Eastern Norway uh, Regional Health Authority. These four RHAs are run by Ministry of Health and Care Services. So the national government is responsible for providing health care according to the goal of, as we mentioned before, equal access to the health care regardless of the economic or social status or geographical location. Most of the hospitals in Norway are public, meaning the state owns and funds them. There are also a few private ones, but they are also mostly funded publicly. How Norwegian healthcare system is financed. While the availability of public healthcare is universal in Norway and covered by the national insurance scheme, there are some financial stipulations. It has two main funding sources. Number one, the general tax system, and number two, household out-of-pocket payments. About 85% of Norwegian healthcare system is funded primarily by general taxes. Taxation is done by central government, counties and municipalities, and is if you work for a company, for example, deducted directly from your salaries, the amount being shared by employer and employees. This covers the most common healthcare services such as GP, mental health care, lab tests and equipment and drugs falling under the blue prescription system. But it's not completely free. If you remember before I said that 85% are covered by the state, so there are 15% missing to 100. These finances are co-payment and out of pocket. Before you mark this system as ridiculous, as a doctor, I would argue that a system like this has its advantages. However, you also have a safety net. Once a person reaches an annual limit of expenses in healthcare, they receive an exemption card. For year 2021, this amount is set to 2,460 Norwegian kroner, which is just roughly 245 euros. After a person reaches this amount, the treatments would remain free of charge for the rest of the year. Exemption to this rule are children under 16 years of age and pregnant women who all receive free healthcare. So let's have a look at an example. If you would visit your GP, who is a specialist in general medicine, during opening hours, you would pay 212 Norwegian crowns or just a bit more than 20 euros 
for your visit. In the evening, this amount would go up to 332 Norwegian kroners or just slightly more than 33 euros. If you see a specialist, the visit fee would be 375 Norwegian kroner and for an x-ray you would pay 267 kroner. So this would be the first part of Norwegian healthcare system and more of its organization and financing. And in the next week's video, I will talk more about getting an appointment with a specialist or at a hospital and about medical prescriptions. So come back to see that one. So for today, this would be all and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next week. Hadel!